everyone we're back sorry about that as i said i do have a few issues uploading but the good news is whilst we're away i actually put my hot glue gun on so yes this is the best way to seal them if you have one it is the best way just pop a bit of hot glue inside there not too much and then also remember we're also making sure Sorry about that, that this part lines up. So, push that in. Sorry, you, it, the best thing to do when you're doing this is stand it up. But I've made quite a few of them now, so I am getting a bit used to. So the best thing to do is to stand it up when you seal it in like, like this. So it has a good old grip. That one's... The only thing is with hot glue, you get webs everywhere. I was watching, um, I sent some stuff to Jane, Crafting Shed Davies, um, and I noticed so many glue webs. It was driving me mad. Right, I hope you can see that. And the reason you need to put a little bit on the front bit as well is because that piece slides in and if you don't put a piece in the front bit what will end up happening is your frame will move at the front I don't want that let me just hold that together for a second right we've got our frame and as I said I've just stuck that together with four pieces and what I've been using is I've put acetate behind them what I've been using is I went to the charity shop and I scored big, this big old container full of them. There is about, I think I counted over 50 sheets, no, 100 sheets, sorry. And it is this binding covers thing. Uh, I think you're supposed to use it to make those book things. That's not what I'm using it for. So yeah, just thought I'd show you what I've been using to make them. And what I've what I've done is, if you look, that part's the front, that part's the back. So you want to go and lay it down. Get yourself some double-sided tape. Stick it down and I just ripped mine because I'm really lazy like that. Not lazy, but I can never ever get it the right length and all that type of stuff, so I tend to just move it around and rip it. And as I said, this is a really, really good. Oh, this is a really good tape, I really do like it, and if you rest it on your project, you can sort of just lift it up, but once you've, once you've done that, it's down, it isn't moving anywhere. There we are. Put that back. Then I just get my tape. I'm sorry, not my tape. I get my um, acetate, line it up. But first, I start off by taking one corner. I fold that bit over. Like I said, I always go along, make sure there's no sticky bits. I hate sticky little bits on my project. And then you go ahead and line up corner to corner and don't stress too much so long as it's on there and all the corners are covered so there's no gaps in between this piece you're absolutely fine then with the rest of that, that's why I always take one corner off because it's easy to lift it and peel my tape out I can go from this end, 
doesn't really matter. And then I have my trusty little scissors. And these are now scissors. I don't have no fancy scissors. These are from Poundland. And they are really sharp. And they usually, there we are, they usually just glide up the side of it. As you see, I wasn't cutting then. I was letting all the scissors do the work. And there you are. You are free to decorate it how you like. I am going to add some paper to this. I'm going to cut it down. And I'm going to add some tags on it. Like I said, and the reason I've put the acetate on there is because I do want them to be able to take the tags off and then use the frame separately. So kind of like a double gift. Um, I actually could go ahead and cut that piece of paper now. I don't really do measurements. Most of my stuff is by eye. I've been crafting for quite a long time. Not on YouTube, but I have been crafting for quite a long time. So... Oh, let me move that piece out. And then that is how it's going to gonna finish up. Let me take you off. Oh, I hope you can still hear as well. I don't want to stick it yet because I want to add some words and stuff inside there. But I wanted you to have a tutorial of how to do this because there are no instructions inside. And um, I do hope that you enjoyed this video next time I will come back with a decorate with me but like I said I'm just getting to grips with how long the videos are going to be and what I'm going to have to do to upload them and stuff like that so thanks for watching and have a great day bye